the Nespresso maker. So if you have any recipes or tips or anything like that, I would love to hear them. Let's see how this is. Okay, it's a little bit strong, but it's not bad. So I'm off today. I'm actually really not flying at all this week. I have a trip this weekend. So I don't have a trip on my schedule until later on this week. So I'm just gonna be hanging out in Dallas. I'm actually supposed to hang out with Sydney later today. We are planning a trip to Copenhagen next month. I'm so excited about that. Actually, I've been thinking about it. I don't think I've been to Europe since 2019. I think that's right. I'm trying to think. Actually, I'm going to look through my pictures and see if I can find the last time I was in Europe. I feel like it's either when I went to Madrid or Croatia. I think it was when Sydney and I went to Croatia. So that was in September 2019. So I'm really excited to have a Europe trip hopefully happen soon. Another place I'm really wanting to go this year, it's on my bucket list for this year. I really wanna go back to Paris. I've been trying to get into French again. It's kind of one of my New Year's resolutions kind of. I really just wanted to get back into it and kind of get back to where I was when I was learning French in college. So I've been doing that through Babbel. So thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this video today. Babbel is a language learning platform that teaches you how to have practical real world conversations in a new language. So it's a great tool to use if you are planning an international trip. They offer lots of different ways of learning like podcasts, games, videos, and online tutoring lessons. And you can learn more than just vocabulary words. You can actually learn about the language's culture, people, history, and more. I love that they have an app so you can really learn a new language from anywhere from your phone. And I also love that they have a 20 day money back guarantee. So if you wanna learn a new language, you can check out Babbel in the description box below. You can click the link and get 65% off your subscription. Okay, I'm absolutely loving how this canvas is turning out. It still needs to dry a little bit more. You can see all those pink spots, but oh my goodness, I think it's gonna be so pretty when it's done. And I just think it's gonna look perfect on that wall. Oh, I'm so excited. But we didn't do the edges. We just did this last night and we didn't do the edges. We just left those alone. So I think I'm gonna do those today. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on these edges. This was so much fun to do. Okay, I feel like this might be a little bit difficult. Okay, it's a little more dry now and I've got the edges all done. So I'm gonna let that dry and then hopefully we'll be able to hang it maybe later today. So I'm getting lunch with Josh right now. Um, we are at Bella Green. It's really good. I've only been here once, but it was really good the first time. And then I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. The pickles. I think pickles. I'm not too sure. good. Okay, I think I'm finally done decorating this TV stand. So on this side, I just put a nice little coffee table book that I found on Amazon. And then I just put a plant on top of that. Also, this plant is getting so long. I might have to cut something down here and then maybe try to grow like a new little branch of it to like replant in there because the top just looks so empty and then it's just so long. And then also I got some new pompous grass, but it is much shorter than I thought. So I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> so that is what it looks like when I actually put it all the way down in there. So I don't know what to do. If anybody has suggestions, I would love that. I feel like I'll have to put something down in the vase. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but <laughs> I just thought it was gonna look more like that. So right now I've got a little scrunchie tied around it to hold it up. I just went for a little walk and I'm gonna make this HelloFresh meal for dinner. It is chicken sausage spaghetti bolognese. Is that right? That's right. Bolognese. I told Josh that I had chicken spaghetti bolognese from HelloFresh and he was like, what? <laughs> what do you have? And apparently it's not bolognese. And when I did this video for HelloFresh just a few days ago, I said it when I like read what options we had and I was like, something is telling me that I'm not saying that right and then I'm gonna get roasted in the comments, so. I cut it out and I'm glad I did. I mean, I definitely could have looked it up, but I wasn't thinking about it, but anyways. 
Okay, so we're happy with the result. Do we care about this line in the middle? I don't think so. That's the new part of that thing. 46 and a half is right there. Okay, so. So Josh comes over to help me hang this thing and brings this fancy gadget. So we just need to go 68 inches up that way. Okay. Yeah. I would have just picked a spot that looks like it's in the middle and started hammering. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so good. You're doing amazing. We got it. Man, what an idea. I know. Yeah. Well, it wasn't an idea. Yeah, but I mean. I'm gonna do a little more salt because they said generous. This is a lot of food. It really is. Oh, wee. Perfect. Oh, that's a nice little setup. Look how pretty. This is driving us crazy. It just needs to be like a little bit lower, so we're gonna move it. I think it's beautiful. Still. I know. Um, let me get the level. Oh, yes, the level. <laughs> that looks so much better. <laughs> I think I told y'all about how my car, the Freon is leaking in my car. So there's basically no AC in my car right now. So I'm getting that fixed today. And I dropped my car off this morning and then I saw that it was like two and a half mile walk to get home. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk home. So I got myself a little coffee and now I'm going for a walk. We went on our first date right there at that table. Yeah, and I did a horrible job. <laughs> it wasn't the best first date, but it wasn't the worst either. I kept her there for about two hours, and there were many moments <laughs> where I had nothing to say, so we just sat there and looked at each other. It wasn't the worst. We're watching Selling Sunset. Oh, that's so pretty. I love Chriselle. Chriselle's my favorite. Emma's not my favorite. Okay, this is the current getting ready situation. I couldn't decide if I liked my mirror on this wall or on the wall next to my TV, but I like to get ready sitting on the floor in front of the mirror. And I've been enjoying watching TV while I sit here and get ready. It also was covering the light switches on the other wall, so I think I'm gonna keep it here. I'm just putting on a little makeup and i'm gonna go walk to the grocery store here in a little bit i still don't have my car so i'm just gonna walk to a grocery store that's close please don't judge how messy i am this is basically my everyday uniform can't forget the fanny pack of course can't find this exact fanny pack i got it from lululemon i always get questions about it i can't find the exact one but i did find a really similar one on amazon so i've been linking that in the description box below but love the fanny pack i'm a big fanny pack wearer these days but yeah i'm just gonna go to the grocery store really quick and then um, probably come home and clean because this place is a mess. Keto bread. I kind of really want to try this. It's $7 and I never really eat bread. So I'm making a recipe that I saw on TikTok. I've made it once before and it was really good. It's just these French dip sandwiches. My mom used to make these growing up and they were so good. And I, I don't think she really makes these anymore. The recipe that I saw, it was super easy and they turned out really good. So I'm gonna make that again for dinner tonight. So I just got some roast beef, pepper jack cheese, some butter, onion, beef broth, and I thought these little flavored buns would be really good with them. I was looking for like hoagie rolls, but I couldn't find like a perfect 
hoagie roll. So I was like, you know what? I'll get these little flavored ones and I bet they'll be really good. And then I also got some prosciutto. My friend Jess is having a get together tomorrow. She got a bunch of like free facials for her and a bunch of friends. So I think like an esthetician is coming to her house. And anyways, we're all gonna get facials and everybody's bringing something to make like a little cheese board. So I'm excited for that. Okay, I'm about to make these French dip sandwiches for dinner. So I got my TikTok pulled up. Okay, this is looking good so far. I'm gonna throw my roast beef in there. Oh, shoot, slow, slow your roll now. No, oh, no, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Got a little too hot on the other burner. It's actually a little scary. The guy in the video says to bring it to a boil, but I think he just meant like a simmer. I think I might go ahead and put them on the sandwiches and then put the cheese on there and then melt the cheese that way. Okay, and we're gonna get a little bit of this broth to put on the side. So we can dip them. Okay, here is the sandwich. But do you like that they're in burger form? Yeah, I really like it I actually. Think I like to. Okay, I'm gonna dip mine. Oh, dip and cheers. That's a good call. Okay. Cheers. I thought that putting it on the air fryer like that would get both of us in. <laughs> it definitely doesn't. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually trying to go home today. So my flight to Lexington is at 2.30 p.m. It looks like it's full. It might be oversold, but I think exactly a week ago was when I tried to go home and didn't work out. But my brother is running a half marathon in Louisville this weekend and my parents are in Lexington right now so it would work out perfectly if I got to Lexington today and then got to go to his race tomorrow with my parents. But we'll see. I'm not getting my hopes up. But yeah, last night was so much fun. I've never done anything like that before. I've never seen anything like that before. But we all just went to my friend's house and we all kind of like sat around the coffee table and there was like a Mary Kay person there. She was just kind of like talking about her products and stuff. So it was a lot of, you know, kind of like being sold. <laughs> products but but it was fun just having like a nice little girls night but I think that is gonna be it for this video I think I'll probably start another video if I make it home and you know I'll just vlog while I'm home with my family I just want to go ahead and close out this video so thank y'all for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video Bye.